Item number, SCP-551, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-551 is to be contained in a simple cardboard box. It must be of an adequate size to carry all pieces of SCP-551. The box should be stored in a locker unit on Storage Site-23, and at least one Level 1 staff member is to be notified in the event of its removal. Description SCP-551 is a standard 550-piece jigsaw puzzle, which should depict, in its finished form, the image of a solitary woman on a small rowboat, surrounded by a stormy sea. However, due to the nature of SCP-551's anomalous qualities, some details of the scene are left incomplete, such as the woman's face and data expunged. SCP-551 was found in the apartment of after other residents complained of an odor seeping out from under the door. The severely malnourished body of was discovered beside SCP-551, with several pieces still clutched in her hand. Roughly one-third of SCP-551 was pieced together on her floor. Multiple subjects testing SCP-551 stated that a completion of the puzzle seems inconceivable. The mental reactions of subjects to SCP-551 was diverse, apparently depending less on the puzzle and more on the personality of the subject, though the effects of SCP-551 on the psychology of subjects should not be overlooked. Addendum 551-1 Standard Class D personnel is tasked with piecing together SCP-551. Subjects spent two weeks in a single room, trying to finish the puzzle and pausing only to sleep. Subject became increasingly frustrated with his progress on SCP-551, which failed to span past 40 connected pieces after this time. Subject slept less during his last days working on the puzzle, and was permitted to stop when he data expunged. Addendum 551-2 Class D personnel with a history of addictive behavior is tasked with piecing together SCP-551. Subject acted aloof about the assignment at first, but after connecting two pieces, she seemed to become alarmingly obsessed with SCP-551. Subject stayed beside it for days, sometimes screaming about her lack of progress. After a period of four weeks, Subject lost consciousness from lack of sleep, and the test was ended. 102 pieces of SCP-551 had been connected. Addendum 551-3 Dr. who scored above average on a standard IQ test, expressed skepticism about SCP-551 and was approved to test it. Said doctor completed all but a couple of sections, specifically the woman's facial features and data expunged. Despite this success, Dr. showed confusion over his remaining pieces and adopted a fatalist attitude toward the puzzle, finally refusing to complete it after four days. Addendum 551-4 A computer-based approach was taken on the completion of the puzzle. The first tool used was a mechanical arm designed to take a piece and place it in the puzzle, used along with a camera and a desktop computer running an image processing algorithm. The application was tested extensively with normal puzzles. However, when tasked with completion of the puzzle, it would invariably trigger a blue screen or a kernel panic as soon as it finished scanning the piece. An embedded design approach was taken, and the computer was replaced by a microcontroller in charge of moving the piece linked to an image processing DSP. However, the value of the program counter register and all the CPUs would corrupt as soon as the DSP finished scanning the picture of the piece, and in several occasions, a sudden, unexpected current peak would result in damage to the CPUs and other components. Automated solutions, therefore, had to be discarded. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-550, The Ghoul, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.